Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we completed the Ghostly Galaxy for as far as we can. And today, guys, we are going to be finishing off the Ghostly Galaxy for one final time. For a while until something else happens. I don't know. Anyways, we've got a Daredevil coming in orbit. And I wonder what this could be considering the fact we had a boss in this galaxy last time. It's Boulder Geist Daredevil Run. And as I showed you last episode, hey, guess what? You can do this in one shot. And I was able to do it without getting hit. Doesn't that make me awesome? Well, probably not. Maybe it just makes me a bit of a show off. But who cares? My ego sprung is high than ever before. So, I'm going to praise my ego even more by telling you I can do this with my eyes shut. Even though I'm not doing that because that would be really stupid. Okay, so round two with Boulder Geist. Once again, he's going to be chucking his boulders at us. Nua do not want to touch them. I'd rather watch them explode, really. That, you, you know, you can take that as you will. Whoa, stalactites. Be careful with those. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Come on, you can catch up with me, right? Uh, I think this is the only version of Boulder Geist where you can't, where you can't summon gold coins. Uh, the golden rocks, if I'm not mistaken. All right, come on. Boom, there you go. Now it gets all mad. You keep touching my Yuri, little man. Now I shall fist you. Ew, stop with those innuendos, okay? Jesus. Okay, go on and continue throwing the slowest punch in the history of forever, man, because, like, you know, you really suck at doing that. Why would you even bother trying to punch when you're not going to go fast enough? Like, I can show you a punch. Like, look at all the Pokemon that can learn Mach Punch, man. Those are punches. Like, come on, man. If you want a quick hit, just do that. Teach yourself Mach Punch. All right, come on. Come on. You got uh, one more hit in you. Let's do this. Let's do this. And boom! There we go. I don't know why, but that one bomb boot just completely disappeared every time that happens, but whatever. Oh, oh! Ooh, bush! There you go. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. If you swing those guys around too much, then you'll be able... Uh, they will hurt you. And that would be bad. Because hurting is bad. Both physically and emotionally. How dare you guys. Anyways, I've proven to you that you could do this in one go. So that being said... You get a star. Okay, now with that being said, let's go ahead and enter our next galaxy, which is an interesting minor galaxy. This is called the Buoy Base Galaxy. This is our first instance of a minor galaxy uh, having more than one mission. And it's a pretty iconic one, too. The Floating Fortress! Let us go! Let us go! Yeah, it certainly is a fortress, all right. This is all a galaxy. A floating fortress. Welcome to the galaxy of one planet. Woo! All right. I, oh, yeah, I also remember what these guys were also called, too. They're actually called Gearmos. Uh, with their gear foreheads. There's a float. This here is a floating fortress. We call it Buoy Base. But nobody's using it right now, so we're here for upkeep. Oh, okay, cool. And you, my friend. Guess what would happen if we were to blow up that underwater weight? Come on, guess. Give up. A tower in the middle of the water would float right up to the surface. Interesting, you don't say. Well, I guess we gotta do something about that now, don't we? Okay, so let's go straight down to the bottom. So, there is a weight down here, as that Guillermo said, which is right there. And we got to explode it. And once you know it, hey, check it out. We got bullet bills underneath. Well, in reality, these are actually called Torpedo Teds, but hey, who's who's caring about that, right? All right, come on. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. There you go. That's a good little Torpedo Ted. I always like those names, Torpedo Teds, and for some odd reason, those things start to pop out of nowhere. I don't know why, but hey. Hey, hey, check it out, bloopers. Like I said, this is probably one of only a few enemies, like the Magic Koopa, to not yield any star bits, just coins we need to defeat them. And come on, get over here. You can always take the blocks of cheese if you want to, but I prefer not doing that anyways. I can just walk over this way. And we're going to watch up to Glittery. 
And this here is what I consider a prepper thwomp. So those guys right here, I have no idea what those things are called. I'll probably have to look some sort of like guide to see what it is. But the pink octumas are going to be me. Yeah, they really are going to be because they make me hurt them. Point. And we got thwomp. Come on, Mr. Thwomp. Do your thwomping yeast. He's a good widow swamp. Okay. Whoa, my God. Wow, that was actually honestly really close. Actually, honestly, that was good boarding right there. What do you got to say, Guillermo? Who's left those water shooters on? Hey, would you give that a valve over there? A twist and turn them off? Sure, I could do- Oh, no! Oh, damn. Yeah, that's what happens when uh, you do that. Wonderful. All right, I'll be right back. And we're back. So you might be wondering, why do I have a, a blue star chip counter over here? Well, that's because up above, we are going to be needing to collect some star chips. As, you know, obviously right here. Uh, we need to go ahead and cork this in. That way these platforms can start moving. Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't be able to collect some of the star chips that are hidden away underneath these platforms. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. Don't be like that. There we go. There's number two. And here's number three. And we go up here. Yes, thank you. This all looks so, like so very rusty and stuff. Come on. Here. And then we go right over here. And then over here, there is number four. And number five should be right down over there. So, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, hey, they just chucked out some of those things. <laughs> That's cool. All right, there we go. There's ship number five. For one pole star. Woo! All right, cool. Let's go ahead and run away from these lasers. Oh! All right, so this plan is actually kind of really cool. It kind of just looks like a giant Pokeball, if you can see it, because you got the button and all the red right over there. And it honestly looks pretty cool. I think it starts to look even more like a Pokeball the minute you uncork this screw, and then... Gasp! It's now clear and translucent into the giant Pokeball. Definitely an unintentional Easter egg. You know, I've always wondered what the inside of a Pokeball looks like. Well, now I know. Alright. Okay, Mario. Uh, I hate swimming in this game so much. I just absolutely hate it. But hey... There we go. I don't have to worry about it because we got a star. New chapter was added to the storybook, but we're not going to be dealing with that right now. Instead, we got a green question mark. What does that mean? Well, that's interesting. Well, why don't we go back to the buoy base galaxy and find out then, shall we? Let's go ahead and click mission number one again, which is the only mission really that we could, you know, touch. Because, you know, touching is good and all. Touching is good. All right, so let's see if I can actually do better with my swimming right over here. Let's go, guys. We go down into the depths of death-defying escapes. All right, so now, like before, we're going to need to lure this torpedo, Ted, over to this green pipe over here. And come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, if that was not coming on, I'm going to go ahead and get me some more water. Oh, that was actually kind of cool looking. <laughs> I actually quite, quite like looking at that. All right. Come on. Let's go. There is a torpedo Ted right there. Come on. Come on. Let's lure you over. There you go. There you go. There's a good torpedo Ted. And boom. Yeah, there we go. So that pipe gets activated. And I'm surprised that no water is also draining from there, but hey, you know, whatever. We're now on the other, on the underside of this planet, which is pretty cool. And look at that, there's a star over there. But wait a minute, it's discolored. Interesting. You think they did that on purpose? Who knows? I still get hit. Are you kidding me? Ah, eh, whatever. Here's some coins right there if you so desire, but I don't need coins right now because those bullet bills are angry. They are very, very, very angry and want me dead. Now, right, come on. Come on, Mr. Bullet Bill. 
Let's lure you over to this one, and boom, there we go. Running man! Woo! Oh my god, wow, speedrunning tactic right there. Alright, there we go, there is our... Star? Hmm. Very interesting that we have a green power star. I wonder what this means. Well, I'm pretty sure Rosalina's gonna tell us right now, but hey, at least it asked our star count, which is always nice. Oh, you're gonna be explaining it. You rescued a green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green lumas about them. After all, they will transform into a green power star someday. All right, so let's go ahead and save our game. So, yeah, green power stars are really special. So, no, our TV was not completely screwed over, or in this case, my monitor. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to this green luma. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the trial galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need to the power of two others like me. Okay, so the green power star we found was actually an entity inside it, which, you know, makes sense. Because these Lumas will actually transform into Power Stars one day. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, so that is your gist of how Power Stars work out. But we're not going to be covering Power Stars quite yet. We need to get two other green stars in order to do that. And that's where Luigi comes in, actually. So speaking of Luigi, uh, he is actually hidden away somewhere. He's collecting another Power Star. And wouldn't you know it, it's actually back out at the Battle Rock Galaxy. So... We're gonna have to go ahead and rescue him. Of course we can. Because what else would Luigi do for us, right? Right? Right. All right, we gotta go ahead and collect Battle Rock Barrage here, uh, cause that's where Luigi is hiding. You see it near the end over there, there's actually a cage just underneath where the Power Star is. Uh, and that's our objective right here. Now, because we've already seen this before, I'm not going to go ahead and show you this again, even though this music around here is absolutely awesome. But I will uh, show you more about that at another time. So I'll meet you guys back over to the end of the mission where we will find Luigi. Okay, so now we're back over here at the end. What we need to do is, just like with the Power Star, we got to lure one of these bullet bills over here to get the cage. Get the cage, get the cage, get the beautiful cage. I will right, we'll take you as an exception here, Mr. Bullet Bill, thank you. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of these Goombas over here because I don't give two shits about that. Okay. Can I lower these Bullet Bills? No, I cannot. Ah, oh, what a shame. There we go, we got properly here. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, they are just trying to make it as long as I can to actually make this being even more as annoying as I possibly can. Okay, that's not what I wanted, but hey, I could show what this does. It gives me Starbits. Woo! Hey, thanks for the Starbits, pal. All right, come on. Will you be my lucky bullet bill? Will you be my lucky bullet bill? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Yes, you're going to be my lucky little bullet bill. Yes, there we go. You saved my brother. I will never forget you. Oh my god, we're going to make out our... Wait, I'm just kidding. What? I thought I'd go crazy in there. Try to save me sooner next time, bro. Yeah, yeah, you want this power star, right? Only if you tell Rosanina I found this one. Well, you did, though. That's exactly what you did, pal. <laughs> the power star is mine! Wow, don't you sound just maniacal there, Luigi. <laughs> Alright, with that being said... It's a Luigi time. All right, well, there we go. There is w another uh, green power star right off the bat for you. And I think that's actually going to be all for what there is to show for green stars right now. There is one more later, but I don't think Luigi is going to be able to find that uh, anytime soon. Uh, those green stars are going to be found within a galaxy that we've already visited. So apparently only Luigi can find them for some strange reason, but uh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. And sure, why not? Why don't we go ahead and finish off this uh, uh, galaxy, uh, this dome on a high note here by activating the main boss of this area. It's going to be Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada. Let's go ahead and do this. Again, you should not be having the Bowser head because you're not Bowser. You're just Bowser Jr. Sinking the airships. Let's go ahead and do this. 
This mission is actually not, not that bad. Bowser Dream missions usually aren't too terrible, really. They're rather short, but this one's actually a decent size. But, hey, we'll be able to do it just fine. Man, look at his airship armada here. It's insane. Okay, so, starting this off here, we got more... Excuse me, I was just trying to spin attack to you, you ding-dong doodly. And now I'm going to steal your coin from you. And I'm also going to steal your coin. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You couldn't hit me. Look at you go going around like that. It's so cute. I think the pink Octumas actually only have like three legs, I think. That's what it looked like. All right, we can go this way, but we can also go this way if you want to. So let's go ahead and do that. Boink. Boinkity. Yes, this is a boinkity boink. Oh, pfft. Hey, look at that. Look at that. We're bouncing. We're bouncing. We're bouncing. Come on. So what we're going to need to do is beat these Goombas up by bouncing on their heads and then going boinkity and then boinkity and then boinkity and then boinkity 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 with these boinkities. We got the boinkity shroom. Okay, I'm going to stop saying boinkity a lot because it's starting to get annoying. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can aim ourselves within this sling start. There we go. Because that was honestly starting to get pretty annoying. Oh, you. I hate these things. They're gross. And Magic Koopas, you could just go ahead and, you know, leave me alone because I honestly don't care. Bye, Bullet Bills. And I missed horribly with that, but thankfully we had a pull star to help me. Whee! Boink. Why do you have Wigglers in your platoon? I don't understand that, but whatever. Captain Toad, what are you doing here? Mario, you finally made it. I was starting to worry. Well, you're finally here. Oh, man. Oh, no! Star bits. Yum. So there's a Hungry Luma Shop right here, should you still want to. I personally do not need them. Because, well, simply put, I am just very awesome. Because, you know... I am awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know why I'm trying to do with that here. I don't know why I'm. Apparently, Bowser Jr. has hired the Mandibug clan, I guess. Or maybe it's just a lone Mandibug being like, hey, I don't want to be the Mandibugs anymore, but I still want to be evil, so let's join forces. And Bowser's just is like, eh, okay, I don't see what the problem is here. And then we killed this one thing. It was going to be his pet. It was going to be his baby. How dare he? Did he actually just destroy one of those things? That's hilarious. Ow. Excuse me, pal. One Magic Koopa guarding the way. And you restored my health. Thanks, pal. All right, Bowser Jr., what do you got? Bowser Jr. himself. You just don't give up. Fine, then. I guess I'll just whoop you myself. You want this Grand Star so bad? You're going to have to take it from me. All right, so we're battling against Bowser Jr. himself, or rather his airship as well. Oh, I thought he destroyed my shell too. So to do this, we're going to fire shells at his airship, and apparently I'm also really bad at aiming. Great. There we go. You have to hit it three times uh, in this form, and upon doing so, he uh, shoots out bullet bills right out the bat, and he's almost going to hit me, but rather hit his own platoon Right in the face. Oh, hey, I hit the Bowser symbol. Nice. Now he's going to summon up Magic Koopies. He's, sh like, shooting everything at us with these epic music, too. And fire! Boom. There we go. Now he's even more angry. Phase two. He's got his Bowser statue against him. And now he shoots out these red evil fireballs of death that do not home in on you. It's just a spread move, but it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to actually hit him because he's now facing towards us. But if you're able to do your timing just right, you should be just fine. Another Magic Koopa? That's insane! Alright, come on. This shit should do it. Are you serious? I actually missed that. Are you kidding me? Jeez, there's so much stuff going on right over here. Calm down, guys. Like, whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, there we go. Hit him in the eye. Hit him in the eye. I destroyed Bowser Jr.'s airship. And now he's just going to be super mad. Be like, oh no! Damn it! Mario looks like he's just sitting. But, hey. We're all good. Everything's all good. I think if there's something up in here. Nope. Something over here. There is a Goomba here this whole time! Okay, cool. Fine, whatever. 
Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and collect our prize. You got a grand star! The kitchen dome is now complete for the time being. Huzzah! And five new galaxies has been discovered all at the same time. Lovely. Thanks to you and your friends, all of the domes on the lower level are working again. Once the engine room on the upper level has power, the whole observatory will be working. Then, the comet observatory will fly as a starship once again. And you'll be able to fly to your special one in the center of the universe. Yay! That makes me happy. It excites my jimmies. Okay, so with that being said, we have now completed the kitchen dome and have unlocked a brand new dome, which is exciting. But there's still more things to do, such as doing the hungry luma of the kitchen dome and seeing what else there is to do. So, we're going to end things here for right now. Next time on Let's Play Super Luigi, not Super Luigi Galaxy, <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy. We're going to be doing the Hungry, Li Hungry Luma mission and also going into the next dome of the game. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time for more Super Mario Galaxy. Bye!